Monte Generoso in the Swiss canton of Ticino has a new landmark. The Fiore di Pietra, which means stone flower, is perched at a lofty altitude of 1,700 meters. Its world-famous architect Mario Botta has come to give his official blessing to the octagonal restaurant with its panoramic views. The Swiss architect was inspired by the form of the mountain. I wanted to do justice to two different sides of the mountain. One of them, which faces south, is very pretty. The other is north-facing and is craggy and steep. I could do that via this big terrace and then the building at its end. The stone flower grows out of the geometry, the topography of the mountain. Construction work took almost two years. Working at that gradient and altitude was a big challenge. Tons of material had to be transported via helicopter or funicular railway. The building cost almost 19 million euros. You can eat inside the Fiore di Pietra, and you can drink in the scenery on the terrace. Every last detail was designed by Mario Botta. The architect chose grey stone for the external cladding, designed to mirror the mountain itself. The stone stands for the mountain. I like the thought that architecture doesn't mean that a building occupies a place. Instead, the building becomes a part of the place. Mario Botta grew up in Switzerland and studied architecture in Italy. In 1970, he set up his own office. Over the years, he has worked on 800 projects all over the world. One of his most famous works is the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, which opened in 1995. Botta is a master of bold geometric forms and likes to use materials like stone and concrete, as he did in Tel Aviv's Symbolista Synagogue and Jewish Heritage Center. Typical of his architectural handwriting, the red brick and round form of Evry Cathedral in France. Everyone writes as best they can. Picasso's signature is unmistakable. You just need to see two single strokes. Garcia Marquez wrote a number of novels, but his language remained the same. I think that my style is very autobiographical. Mario Botta's monumental architectural style has had the greatest impact on his home canton of Ticino, where he's best known for his ecclesiastical buildings. The church of San Giovanni Battista in the mountain village of Monio has striking black and white stripes and attracts lots of tourists. Botta hopes that the Fiora di Pietra will be just as popular. It's a project that's particularly close to the architect's heart. After all, he grew up near Monte Generoso and frequently enjoyed its panoramic views over the border to Italy. As a child, the mountain was the world for me. The peaks, the Alps, the entire universe. I climbed up the mountain in the early morning to see the sunrise. This mountain let me see the world. On April 8th, the funicular railway will start to carry visitors up the mountainside to the new building. That's when Mario Botta's Fiore di Pietra opens its doors to the public. The new landmark certainly faces stiff competition. The panoramic views from Monte Generoso.